Good morning, Facebook family and Shining Light Baptist Church family. Uh, today's our third installment of Light for the Day. Let's jump right into it. We're in Psalm chapter number one. Just by way of review, we looked at how the uh, God is contrasting the righteous and the ungodly in Psalm chapter one. And he calls the righteous man the blessed man or the happy man. And we looked at the last two installments. It, it tells us why uh, the righteous is called blessed because he's doing some certain things. Number one, he's uh, blessed because his direction is right. Um, he's uh, walking not in the counsel of the ungodly. He's not standing in the way of sinners. He's not sitting in the seat of the scornful. In, in other words, his walk is right, and therefore his ways are right. He's, he's standing in the right place. He's settled. He's seated, not moving. But not only is direction, not only is his direction right, his delight is refreshing. Why? He's delighting in the law of the Lord. The Bible is the centerpiece of his life. It's his final authority for faith and practice. And not only is he delighting in it, but we have proof of his delight that he's meditating therein day and night. And so uh, his direction is right. Uh, his delight is refreshing. But today we're going to look at number three. It's because he has a deep-rooted faith that he's blessed. He's happy. He's got a deep-rooted faith. Uh, a lot of people, they kind of use faith as like a Tylenol. They take God when they need him. When crises come, God is the centerpiece of their life. And when things are going really good, God kind of gets put on the back burner. But folks, if God is your God and you have a deep root of faith, you're going to be happy. You're going to be blessed. I'm going to give you four thoughts in verse number three. The Bible uses an illustration of a tree. It says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Let me give you four thoughts this morning. First of all, if we're like a tree, number one, we're planted. We're planted. Um, he's not tossed about. I remember when I went uh, we would go hunting, sometimes I get in a, a ladder stand, and I've been in the tree stand uh, hunting deer, and there's been many a times where the wind has whipped up, and that tree might go back and forth and sway, but when I get down, I'm still at the same place that I climbed up. Why? Because I'm not, in our faith, we're not going to be tossed about with every wind of doctrine, uh, but we're planted like a tree, and it's still going to be there. It might, get, it might bend, but it won't break if it's a deep-rooted tree, a healthy tree. But God not only tells us that he's planted, it tells us where he's planted, by the water. What is the water? Well, obviously plants need water as the source of, of nourishment. But water in the scripture is a picture of the word of God. We have at least two illustrations I can give you off the top of my head. First of all, in Nehemiah, when the 12 gates needed to be repaired, it was actually only 11 gates because the water gate, which is a type of the word of God, did not need to be repaired. The Bible doesn't need to be fixed. It's never been broken. And then uh, we also read in Ephesians that uh, the cleansing of the water by the word of God. And so we have a couple of illustrations there. But so here, here we have this illustration. We're like a tree where we planted by the river of water in the word of God. And that's how we get our delight and our happiness. We, we get our faith. It's deep rooted because it's the word of God. But not only is it planted, number two, it's productive. Notice it shall bring forth fruit in his season. God gave us the, a list of the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. And the question I have here to you is, are you seeing fruit in your life? Are you seeing God bear fruit through the way you live your Christian life? You can't produce it. God has to produce it. But if we're living right and we're saved, God will produce fruit. So how's your fruit productivity right now in your life? Third thing we see here is preservation. It says his leaf also shall not wither. Now, living in the North Georgia mountains, one of the great blessings is every fall around October, November, we see the leaves change. And though they might be pretty, uh, a leaf changing, uh, once the color is gone, it turns to an ugly brown. And it dies. It's a, it, it, every year we see this cycle uh, of the leaves in the mountains on our trees. But God says that the Christian that's blessed is a supernatural leaf. His leaf's not going to wither. And so we, we uh, 
have a, a picture here of our eternal security. Our salvation is secure if we're saved and we're living for the Lord. Uh, and by the way, salvation and eternal security is not based on your performance. It's based on God's promises. So why do a lot of people doubt their salvation? They're just not in the Bible. And they're letting the devil pick them apart on a daily basis because they're not leaning on the promises of God. And religion tries to teach us that our salvation and our security is, is performance driven. And that's just the, the exact opposite. Our salvation and our eternal security is based on what Jesus did. It's totally secure. And then lastly, it says, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I don't preach a prosperity gospel, but I do believe God blesses his children that live right. God blesses his children that are uh, going in the right direction, whose delight is refreshing, and their deep-rooted faith is something that is rewarding. We have fruit to bear, we have assurance of salvation, and there's prosperity. Joshua 1 8 says this, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate, or delight, uh, therein day and night, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And that's light for the day.